In the 1970s, Italy began to build a simpler tank based on the Leopard 1 tank, which is the OF-40 main battle tank. It is mainly aimed at overseas users with slightly weaker economic strength. These countries are eager to purchase new tanks for upgrading, but they don't have much money to buy the highest-end models. The OF-40 fills this market gap. However, Otto Malara is not limited to this. They also developed a self-propelled artillery called Palmaria on the OF-40 tank and achieved a small amount of exports. The chassis of the OF-40 tank adopts a welded structure, with the driver's compartment located in the front right of the vehicle, the fighting compartment in the middle, and the power compartment in the rear. This is a relatively conventional layout. The power comes from Germany, and different information shows different engine models installed. This may be because the tank has different models such as MKY and MK2. There have been subsequent upgrades to the power system, but overall, the OF-40 is a lightweight tank that can reach a maximum speed of about 60 km per hour. It becomes easier to build a self-propelled artillery on a technologically mature chassis. The development work began in 1977. A hydraulic power turret welded with aluminum alloy was installed on the chassis, equipped with a manual backup operating system, which can rotate 360 degrees. The turret also has its own auxiliary power supply, which can reduce the fuel consumption of the main engine. Inside this large-sized turret, there is a 155ME L39 howitzer installed, with an elevation angle between 4 degree and 70 degree. As a buddy in the camp, the Italian-developed tank can, of course, fire NATO standard ammunition. When using specially developed ammunition, the range is 24.7 kilometers, and when firing rocket-assisted projectiles, the range is 30 kilometers. The artillery has an automatic loading system, with 23 rounds of ammunition stored in the loading system and another 7 rounds stored in the vehicle. There are windows on the side of the turret for easy external ammunition replenishment. The automatic loading system can maintain a firing rate of 15 rounds per second for continuous shooting, or a burst firing rate of 3 rounds in 25 seconds. In long-term continuous shooting, the firing rate of the artillery is reduced to 1 round per minute. If it is an indefinite artillery battle, the firing rate should be further reduced to 4 rounds per minute. The Palmaria self-propelled artillery welcomed its first batch of foreign trade orders in 1982. Nigeria purchased 25 vehicles, Libya purchased 210 vehicles, and Argentina also purchased 25 vehicles. In terms of overall performance, Palmaria lacks some advanced and precise fire control systems, and its comprehensive combat capability is slightly inferior to first-class standards of the same period. However, Compared with slightly older equipment, it still has obvious advantages and is suitable for countries like Libya, which have money but are not particularly wealthy. Among these few users, Argentina is a special one. The country installed the Palmaria turret on its domestically produced TAM main battle tank, called TAM VCA Palmaria. The Palmaria self-propelled artillery weighs about 46.6 tons, with a length of 11.474 meters, a width of 2.35 meters, and a height of 2.874 meters. It is powered by a 740-horsepower 8-cylinder diesel engine, with a maximum speed of 60 km per hour and a maximum range of 400 km. The crew consists of five people, and the main gun is a 155mm howitzer. The auxiliary weapons are a 7.62mm machine gun or a 12.7mm machine gun above the turret. There are also smoke grenade launchers on both sides of the front of the turret.